To make the quick and easy water rocket, you're going to need a few household items. And one thing you may not have hanging around, a tire valve. But I picked this one up at my auto parts store for under $2. And a cork. This one's out of a wine bottle, and I believe it's a number 9 size cork. And an ordinary 16 to 20 ounce water bottle. And some duct tape or any other strong tape. And a cardboard can, and this can needs to be big enough to fit the water bottle inside and a piece of dowel, or even a coat hanger would work for this. So the first step is to consume the ingredients of my cardboard tube, and I had no problem enjoying that part of this project. Now one thing you will need to be sure of is that the cork that you have fits snugly inside of the water bottle. Either get a larger or smaller cork, or a larger or smaller water bottle. Now it's time to use a razor or box cutter, or in my case I'm using an X-Acto knife, and we need to cut that cork right in half. Save the best half of the two, and you could discard the other piece. Now, the tire valve will need to go through the center of this piece of cork, all the way through with enough threads showing so we can attach a pump to it. Then it's out to the shop, and I put the cork in a vise, and I drilled a small pilot hole through the cork. Then I increase the size of that hole one more time, and lastly, one more increase in the size of that hole so that the tire valve fits snugly inside the cork. This will be our launch plug. And then make sure it fits snugly inside the water bottle with the threads on the outside. Then it's time to cut through that tube so we have about a 7 inch piece. Now, I cut from the wrong end and ended up having to cut off the bottom of the tube. No big deal. Using a pair of shears, I scored the wood dowel and then snapped it leaving me with about a 12 inch piece. Then using tape, I taped the dowel to the tube. We now have our completed launch tube. Our air power will be supplied by a bicycle pump. Now I have a manual one, but I wanna kick it up and add more pressure quickly, so I'm using this portable 12 volt compressor. Now we've got our bottle, our launch tube, and our launch plug, and it's time to launch it. But first, we wanna fill a water bottle a third full with water, and then insert the launch plug. Find a safe and soft place to push the launch tube into the ground at about a 45 degree angle. Make sure it's not pointing at anything. Insert the water bottle, then attach the pump to the threads on the launch plug. Then I fired up my compressor. It launches like crazy, it goes about 40 feet in the air. You could build a couple of these, get a good distance away, and have water bottle battles. Be sure to wear safety glasses if you do that. I've always loved rockets of all kinds, so I've been listening to Rocket Men, the epic story of the first men on the moon. It's fascinating. I downloaded it from Audible, who supports my show and helps me make videos for you. They have over 180,000 titles in every genre imaginable. And you can listen anytime, anyplace with the free Audible app on your smartphone, Amazon device, tablet, or computer. It's easy to get started. Try Audible, start with a free book courtesy of me, Kip K, get the free app, and enjoy all the great membership benefits. So get your free audiobook right now by going to audible.com slash Kip K. Now, when you do that, not only do you get a free audiobook, but you're helping me make more videos for you. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.